With Stony Plain Road on Edmonton's west end experiencing extended road closures due to LRT construction, some Edmonton City Councillors are saying impacted businesses should receive money, while others are saying they don't want to set a precedent. Whether they are neighbourhood renewal, whether the uh, yellow head expansion or 50th Street uh, uh, bridge overpass on uh, by the by the uh, on 82nd Avenue, right? So I don't think we have the financial capacity to do all of that. Edmonton's mayor says the city can't afford to compensate every single business that gets impacted by construction as the city deals with an $88 million budget shortfall. The company in charge of building the Valley Line West LRT expansion telling Media Monday while construction is on schedule, a portion of Stony Plain Road will remain closed longer than expected for additional work. That's adding to the already mounting frustration from businesses in the area, many who have seen access to their businesses restricted due to heavy road construction. It comes at the same time as Edmonton City Council voted down potentially funding a $250,000 pilot project that would be given to 100 businesses on Stony Plain Road, most impacted by LRT construction, to help offset losses. Mayor So he says $2,500 per business isn't enough money to be meaningful, adding there are better ways to support them. I think the most meaningful way we can help businesses is actually require construction companies to better manage uh, the construction projects by having better signage, uh, access to businesses and managing those access in a, in a timely way and not prolong, prolonging the construction. Valley Line West LRT construction is happening largely in Councillor Andrew Nax Ward, and he brought forth the motion to consider the pilot project in the fall. He acknowledges there isn't an appetite on council to fund another project during tough budget times, but disagrees with the mayor, saying even a little funding can go a long way. Might not be where we need to be, and uh, I'm going to be the first to argue. I don't think this is nearly where we need to be. Um, but better to take some action than to say, well, this isn't going to fix the problem, so we're not going to do anything at all. I, I, I think that's the wrong signal to send to the business community. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.